Philippines. Okay? Clear? Now, so leave it for three days. After three days, when you open up, this will be somewhat like this. Now, mud, there, there will be many colors on microbes. Maraming colors. There will be many colors of microbes. Majority color is color white. Majority will see color white. White? White. Put it. Yes, put it. Mostly, mostly. But sometimes, walang white, no white, but other colors. But mostly, you will see white. Okay, now. So, that is molds. That is microbes. Now, when you say, Oh, sir, we're going to capture the jar. Very easy. I'll put the rice here. After a few days, I will see a lot of molds already. Why, why, why go to the extreme of putting it in bamboo, go to the forest, or putting it in grasses? Why? Because you are capturing soil microbes, not air microbes. Clear? And these microbes that you capture from the soil is to be scattered on the soil, not the plants. Clear? On the soil, not the plants. Understood? Okay. Now, so there are many colors. Now, the most colors that you wa don't want to see is color black. Color black. If you can see that majority, more than 50% are black, we'll check it. So, uh, uh, but you will only see this when you didn't follow my instruction. What is my instruction? If women having monthly period, you are the one doing it, you will see a lot of blacks. If you had anger and you are the one doing it, you see a lot of blacks. Clear? If you put it in a sickly plants and you want to capture the microbes there, you will see a lot of blacks. Clear? These are the reasons why you will be capturing a lot of black. Now, this one, you can see there are many colors. Majority are white, many, oh, there are orange, uh, there are yellow, there are uh, uh, brown, light brown, uh, rust, and some black. You see some black? No problem. You don't need to take out the black because this is bio diversity synergy so take everything even the rice the rice and the molds or microbes take everything you call that I am O one you call that I am O one claro okay now, you, you might have many, no? You might capture plenty. So get all the IMO1 together, mix them all together, weigh it. If it's one kilo, then add one kilo of molasses. Now, what does the molasses do here? Molasses function as fermentation. It ferments. Now, what does fermentation mean? Uh, molasses is the food of the microbes. If you let the microbes eat of the molasses, they can easily increase, pass, mobilis, magdami. Yan ang main food nila. That's why the rice is good because rice is high in also in sugar that's why they like rice
Clear? Clear? Okay. So, add molasses. Now, what kind of container that you use here? Now, in Korea, they use clay jar. Philippines, we don't need to use clay jar because it's too expensive. So, any ordinary plastic container will do. Again, any ordinary plastic container will do. Okay? Now, now, uh, the most important thing that you need to know is the content or laman. Content is laman. The content should be more than half the container. The volume of the content should be more than half the container. Ano ang ibig sabihin? Yung laman, yung IMO1, paghalo mo ng molasses, ang laman niya, ang tibok laman, kailang sobra sa kalahati ng inyong container na ginamit niyo. It should be more than half. More than half, three-fourth. The container. Three-fourth, two-third, that is more than half. Okay? Now, it should not be less than half. Because here, you are activating fermentation. And you need pressure. So the smaller the space, the stronger is the pressure. Claro? Then cover it. Now, and cover, the purpose of the cover so that no insect can go inside. That's all. You don't need to seal it so tight. No need. Just to cover it so that no insect can go inside. Cover it with what? With the plastic cover. Uh, uh, or a plastic, there are covers, right? Uh, uh, like like that one, the, the plastic container, yes, they have yeah, cover, right? Yeah. So you just cover it with their cover. And make it tight? No, the purpose of the cover so that no insects can go in. Uh, you don't need to have it so, so, so tight. Okay? Now, leave it in a shaded area not direct sunlight. Again, put it in a shaded area, either your house or your structure, like this. You can put it anywhere here. Not direct sunlight. When you, direct sunlight is here. This is direct sunlight. So do not put the container here. You can put it here. It's not direct sunlight, it's okay. Claro. Kung hindi sabot, ha? Question, ha? Yes. I'm, sir, using the manila paper, sir. No need, no Manila. need. Uh, just the cover of your container. Ah, cover of the container. Oh, no, no need manila paper. Ah. Pero boy po, pero pa, hindi lang yakon manila paper. Oh, eh, gagastos ka palang manila paper. Less is more. Apelido na ako. Apelido na ako. So, so if you, if you let's say cover it tight, no need tight. No need tight. So no you want the, if there's any air to come out, right? If there's any pressure or anything, any gases should come out. Yes. yes. Should be able to come out. Yes. Okay. Any question? So, so fer fermentation basically is just to feed the microbes so that they multiply. So that's it. Uh, when you feed the microbes, the uh, microbes will increase. When the microbes increase, there are more air. Uh. They will produce more air. Uh, air is an indication that the microbes are increasing. Uh, no, sir. Um, if you're going to put the molasses, you know, you just mix it. Just, yeah. just mix it. Mix it with that IMO1, which there is rice and mold, right? Just mix it. Same volume, one is to one. Okay. What if the IMO one is one kilo, then molasses is also one kilo. Now, in your country, you can use the uh, brown uh, sugar. sugar, but it should be the dark brown sugar, not the very bit white brown sugar. So, put it in shaded area for seven days. Seven days is the 
minimum fermentation. You can have more than seven days, but the minimum is seven days. Now, after seven days, what happened? After seven days, when you open the container, you will see that the rice that was not diluted will be floating on top. And they are black, the whole black of rice, like ice black. They will stick to one another like a block of rice on top, floating on top. If you push it down, you'll see liquid will be coming up because the liquid is in the below. Okay, so what you do here, before I used to teach this, that you take out the whole block of rice and put it in another container and put molasses again so that they will expand again. Now, now I don't teach that. Why? Why I don't teach that? Because my goal is to increase microbial varieties in my farm. So I better capture. Because I want to increase. Waste na waste na. No, not waste. Waste na yeah. No, 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 no. So my goal is to increase the varieties of microbes in the farm. But if I'm going to develop the same microbes, no use. Because I will have that plenty already. So I will capture from other areas so that I will increase more kinds, which probably I don't have in the area. So I rather capture again, rather than multiplying it with that block of rice again. Clear? So, so what, what will I do with the rice? Very simple. I just mix it back to the liquid. Because it's food. It's food for the microbes. So I just stir it up so that they will again mix up with the liquid. So after mixing it up with the liquid, then I will package it into containers, like smaller pack containers, like yung mga water pet, bottle. pet bottles. Recycle it. So get all pet bottles in your locality. Okay, so transfer it in pet bottles. Now, when you transfer in pet bottles, this is the cup of the pet bottles. Don't seal it. Just put it on top. Don't seal it. Because fermentation continues on. So, uh, anyone experience puto? Yes. Na experience tayo niyo? No? Amoy ay mo bumbahay. No? Magbuto man. No? So, just put the cup on top. Let the fermentation continues on probably for two to three days. Then they will stabilize. Once stabilized, you can see there's no bubbles going up already. Then the time can see it. Now, it doesn't mean you have to wait for two to three days to use it. You can use it immediately. After you harvest it, you can immediately use it. But, again, you have to strain it because there are, what? Rice that you mix. So when you want to use it using a power spray or knapsack spray, you have to strain your IMOs because there are rice that are still there. Okay? Claro ba? Any question? Which uh, type of bottles do you put? Plastic? Any kind. Plastic? Yes. Pet bottles. Okay. The bottles that you drink oh, the this water one. from. Oh, okay. All right. Recycle. When you want to spray, that's the time you separate the, the, the rice, the, rice. Uh, the solid. Because it will block your sprayer. But when you are storing it, you don't need to strain it. Because these are food. So that microbes continues to prey on the food. When you are storing it, when you are going to use it to spray it, then that's the time you strain it. Clear? But, but by that time, there's no more rice because the microbes will eat it all. 
So what happens if they eat it all? They they will uh, die if there's no food? No, no, no. Uh, uh, this is concentrate after the harvest. It's concentrate and the shelf life is six months. Shelf life is six months. Okay. Now listen. I will not produce the six months requirement of your farm. Again, again, lip. I will not produce the six months requirement of your farm. Anong ibig sabihin? Hindi ko mo buhat yung unong kabulan na kinahanglan mo ng IMO mo. Hindi unong, kundi tulong kabulan lang. I will only produce three months requirement of my farm in the IMO. Not the six months. Because it's easy to make, right? It, is it easy to make? Yes. So it's not hard work, am I right? It's easy work, am I right? Yes. So why do six months requirement? Just three months before that three months run out, then you make again for another three months requirement. So that it will be potent. Rather than six months, the potency dropped down. It doesn't mean after six months it's no use. No, you can still use it. But, but, but the quality went down. But still you can use it. It's still effective, but less effective. Clear? So I will not do that six months. I will do only three months that I need for my farm. Any question? I have another question. Uh, in, uh, sometimes I've read uh, that uh, when you see there's still some activity in the in the bottle, hmm. add some more sugar. It no, will, no, 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 no. It will. Uh, the activity will. Uh, mm, you'll just be spending a lot of money. Uh. Just let it die down. It will die down eventually, two uh. to three days you see that there is no tiny bubbles going up already then it's stable down then that's the time you see it do not add because you'll be spending more money no need to spend more money it's just i was thinking how come if you add like say more sugar or molasses how come it slows down okay. it's supposed too to much yeah. and too later yeah it will not activate the fermentation. Uh. Because there are too much food. So, less activation. Mm. Or less food, then less activation. Mm. Okay? So, when those food slowly runs out, then that will increase the activation again. Because there will be more microbes. Mm. Mm. So no need. No need. Uh, three months is good enough. Even six months is good, good enough. Right? Storage for six months, that's too long already. So three months, three months is good enough. So you don't need to add. Any question? Any question? Claro ba? So, so after uh, that liquid, that liquid is called IMO2. That liquid is called IMO2. For the soil. For the soil. Clear? Any question? Now, next. So you can do big scale or you can do small scale. Now, listen, uh, if you have one hectare, are you going to use those big ones? No, too many. That one, those, those big containers, if you are 20 hectares, 30 hectares, then you use those one. But if you're just one hectare, small container is good enough. Clear? 
So tomorrow you know the delusion, you say, huh? That's all? Small amount? Next, fermented plant juice. Yes. Uh, what's, what are the advantages of using IMO to the soil? Another advantage is, sir, of using IMO to the soil. Ah, the functions of microbes. What are the functions? Uh, soil conditioner, sir. No, 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 no. What is the function? Uh, it will give... Build up. It will bring the new threads to uh, the plants. Uh, uh, they are feeder, feeder. builder, uh, soldier, Decomposer, take out odor. I mentioned this pipe already, isn't it? Yes. Mamiya pa, marami pa. Pero sa milambit technology, ang emphasize nila sir is soil conditioner. Listen, what is soil conditioner? That is not what it is. They will take away toxicity of the soil. You know, when you do a lot of chemicals, so there are many toxic in the soil, so they take away toxicity of the soil. So that's another one. That's why initially, the most crucial point in farming is the microbes, initially. That is your number one goal in farming, increasing microbes in your farm. That's how it Epige. Epige na? Ang probinsya na? Okay. Ina. Ito na eh. What is this? Leaves. Now, leaves is part of the tree. The tree had trunk, branches, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Now, what is the function of these leaves? What is the function? Now, what is the function of these leaves in the plant? Food for the plant. For uh, you are too technical. <laughs> layman's term. Um, Simple to make up layman's term. Food. Yes. They produce food uh -huh. for the plants. So this is the functions of the leaves. They produce food for the plants. This is the if, if if this is if the tree is the house, this is the kitchen. kitchen. Clear? So I will stop because lunch is ready. We'll eat first. What time is it? It's uh, eleven forty-eight. Eleven four nine. So we'll come back uh, quarter to one. No, you can eat only just a few minutes, then you can rest. You can rest half an hour. Okay, one, come back at one. Okay, let's go back to the lecture. We are starting to teach fermented plant juice or FPJ. Okay. Uh, I was uh, showing to you this. This is uh, leaves and what uh, we learned from it. You said that this is uh, the kitchen of the plants. So the kitchen is to produce food. So it means the leaves 
they are the one who produces food for what purpose? That you said this this leaves produces food for what purpose? So that during flowering stage and fruiting stage of your plants, there is food to eat. Again, again, during flowering and fruiting of your plants, there is food to eat. The flowers and the fruits have food to eat because it comes from these leaves. Clear? Larva. Now. Now. So, so when you said this is a kitchen, then there should be a cooking crew. Meron staff. Meron magluluto. The, my, my question is, who is the one cooking? If you, this is a kitchen, so there should be somebody cooking the food. So the question is, who is cooking the food? Microbes. Microbes are the one cooking. Okay? So they are the cook. Here. Now, not only cook. After cooking, they have to deliver the food to the flower, to the fruits. So there should be what? Waiter and waitresses. <laughs> so it's not only cook, the cook the food, but also waiter and waitresses to deliver the food. And these are all microbes. Clear? Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, now, the question right now is this. So it means in trees, leaves should be plenty because they can cook more food and that it should be very nice. Look, look, look at these leaves. Is this nice? Yes. Okay. No, no scratches. Clear. Walang samad. So what does it mean? It means complete nutrients are in the leaves. That's why it's very clean. It means the leaves is full of new three yes some cup okay now now where are we going to get for example if you want to see this happen in your plants that the leaves is like this so you have to feed them you have to give them food so that you will see this happen okay now the question is where are you going to get the food for the plants, for the leaves? Where? Where? From the plants. In our area, sir. From the plants. From the leaves itself. If this leaves is so beautiful like this, it means all the nutrients are perfect inside. So when you get this leaf and you extract all the nutrients inside these leaves plus the cook plus the waitresses and you give it to your plants you are getting everything that's in these leaves and you are going to introduce it to your plants. So that means you have to select healthy leaves, sir. Yes. To be processed for yes. plant juice. It's common sense that you don't use sick plants to get the nutrients. It's common sense. Okay, I'm dito, sir. Ah, mga naman ng kangkong, no matter what, kung sa toy, kung ano, 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 kung ano,
Basta green. Basta ano, walang sakit yun. O kasi kung may sakit, maybe you can see a lot of uh, sickly plants already. Now listen, you don't need to be very... Just look at the plants, you will know if they are sick or not. Am I right? Ah, aphids. Is, we're going to just take the aphids out. Okay? Clear? So, that's why FPJ, what is the purpose of FPJ? FPJ means fermented plant juice. It means these leaves, we will ferment it. Through fermentation, you are extracting the nutrients, you are extracting the cook, you are extracting the water and waitresses. Okay? Clear? Now, now, that's what you mean by fermented plant juice. Now, so, what is the purpose of fermented plant juice? Uh, it will provide ano, growth hormones. Uh, before that, products. before that, what is the purpose of FPJ? It is food for your plants or food for your leaves because you will do the foliar spray. Pagkain sa iyong dahon o sa iyong tanong. Klaro ba? Klaro? So, FPJ is food for the leaves. Food for the leaves. So, fermented plant juice. So, what kind of plants we will do? We will uh, process, we will ferment. What kind of plants? Uh, my suggestion here, in the Philippines, uh, we have many kangkong, alokbate, kamote tops, talinom. Uh, our friend from Kenya is asking what is kangkong? What is water, the English name? Watercress or water spinach. Water spinach, watercress. 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 Mm -hmm. What water is that? Uh, there is so-called an upland kangkong. These are without water. So it, uh, there are seeds that yes. you can plant on to get the kangkong. Kangkong is a uh, peanuts variety also. It's peanuts, peanuts variety. Peanuts. 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 And there's peanuts okay. category. Okay. Now, uh, alukbate. What's alukbate? Alukbate is also a spinach. Uh, amud. Okay. Uh, kamote tops. You know kamote tops, right? Yes. Kamo. No, kamote tops. It's not listed here. Uh, uh, no. No. Uh, potato tops. Ah, oh, okay. Sweet potato. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, the, the leaves, the tops, the mm. kamote tops, the leaves, the, 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 the vine. Okay. It's vine, right? The talino, what is talino? Talino, you can see this in farms. It's, it grows everywhere. This one. Talino. Oh, makikita niyo kung asa-asa ng magtubo ni. Talinom. Talinom ko sa na. Sa ba makikita? Oo, parang alukbate. Parang alukbate. Gulay nga. Gulay. Talinom din nga. Pero minus ang nakakaon dito. Wala. Hindi kaya na. Hindi mo kaon. Uy, kaon. Uy. Pwede gani. Salad. Pwede asa sa larong po. Talinom. Asa ba ng jing? Ang alam mo, asa? Ha? Alukbate. Lahit na. Alawang inyo? Oo. Lahim na lahim. 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 Lahim na lahim.
Magbulak siya na kulay bayan. Ay, nagkana sa ato. O, oh, pink. Pero maturo ka naman na sa ato. Oh, sangkot ka naman na sa ato. O, sangkot pa. Mag-draw ko nga sa ato. Oh. Maturo ko lang siya. Pero magulay mo na? Oh, magulay. Magulay lang. Magulay lang. Magulay lang siya at lamay ang nagbate. Lamay lang sa pagkakyo eh. Pero medyo, medyo di kaya niya. Aslong siya. Medyo aslong. Hindi kaya po na siya ng lugdo. Lain siya Okay, now. Now, these are the plants that we suggest for the Philippines because it grows everywhere. Now, later on, I'll tell you why. In Korea, what they introduce is mug word. Mug word. M-U-G W-O-R-T-H. Mug word. Now, what is mug word? Mug word in our local name is Damong Maria. Narin niyo? Damong Maria. Anyway, uh, bo, uh, makalawa kung pumunta tayo sa livestock, uh, i-remind mo ako kay meron doon sa livestock. Okay. And it grows everywhere also. This map word, they can grow everywhere. Here it grows? Yes. Um, you, have, you have in your country, right, map word? I don't know what it is. <laughs> uh, I don't know how it looks. Anyway, uh, when yeah. we go to the livestock, remind me again so that I can pinpoint the map word so that you know. Okay? Okay. Now, mugwort is very good because mugwort is also pesticide. Wow. It has pesticide residue also. So anyway, uh, in the Philippines, I suggest kangkong, alugbate, kamote tops, talinum. Now, if you have mugwort, you can also add mugwort. Now, it can be just one kind. It can be two kinds. It can be three kinds that you mix them together to do FPJ. Clear? Okay, now, now why these plants? Very simple. When you cut the tops, the shoots, and you left the, the vine, after a few days, what are you going to see? Ah, oh, magsasalising. It will sprout, it will pillars, a lot of pillars. Right? Not only one, not only two, even more than five pillars will come out from that harvest of one, just one harvest of that shoots. The remaining shoots, you left it behind, there will be a lot of shoots that will come out after a few days. Now, you could see how prolific they are. How fast they can grow. What are there? in those kind of plants. Anong meron? Anong meron? Kanina, sinasabi mo. Growth hormones. Their growth hormones is very high. Their growth hormones is very high. That's why it shoots out a lot of shoots. You just harvest one, one shoots, comes out a lot of shoots. Which one is that? Which plant is it? The kangkong, alagbate, kamote, taps, talino. They have those principles. So, so you are not only getting the nutrients, you are not only getting the cook, you are not only getting the the wetter and wetresses, you are also getting the growth hormones. When you spread that to the plants, then you are expecting what you get from here, you are going to expect on your plants also. See? Get it? Nakita mo? Kung anong meron dito at yun ang binigay mo sa tanong, yan din ang makikita mo sa resulta sa inyong pag-apply. But uh, food, yeah, I mean, different plants have different requirements. No. Uh, and if we, if we take... No, 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 uh, no. They have all, all the same requirements in requirement. reality. Mm. They need nutrients. Mm. They need hormones. They need uh, the cook. Mm. They need the weather. They need the wetresses. All plants need all these things. Isn't it better to get it from the same plant? Let's say if you have tomato, uh, then you do FPGA for tomato. 
uh, that is one of the best principle, uh -huh. but it can be any. Okay. Uh, you can get the banana uh -huh. and spray it to the banana. Okay. That is, that's a good principle. Oh. But you can get some banana, uh -huh. some of this, uh -huh. some of that, mix them all together, and you can spray it to banana. Okay. Clear? Yeah. Any question? Any question? Now, if you do uh, kangkong alabate comes in taps, all these kinds, you have complete nutrients. So when you give to a plant, they will have complete nutrients. Also. So you mix them together? Yes. Oh. You can make them together. Mm. Okay? Okay. You can, you can just make one of each kind, then mix everything together into one. You can do that also. It's up to you. Mas mm maayo -hmm. variety of plants. Kaysa isa lang ka commodity mo. Yes. Kaya ganon man tumi yung plants. Okay. So even you can use also banana trunk. Kasi makuha sa banana trunk, sir. Yung sa banana trunk, sir, water lang. No, nutrients. Because that's the trunk. That's where all the nutrients is going up to the leaves and to the fruit. Diba? That is the passageway of nutrients from the ground. Am I right? Yes. Now, yeah. now, now listen. But there is something that I am not satisfied with. Look at that picture. What, what, is, what is it? What is it? No? Lusong, bamboo shoots. No, 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 no. Picture the banana trunk. Ah. It is mature trunk. It means this trunk, you have harvested the fruits already. Mm -hmm. Then you cut the trunk because that is uh, the requirement. Oh. After you harvest the fruits, you cut the trunk and the trunk you throw it to the ground. That is the requirement, right? Uh -huh. Now, when you harvest already the fruits, it means what? Well, the mature no. mature the trunk is mature. Oh. And what is what do you mean by mature trunk? All the new nutrients is going to the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm affected in this teaching. <laughs> Senior na kasi. <laughs> what happened when you are old? New trends went down. Am I right? Mm. Again, new trends went down. Sap went down. Liquid went down. Diba? Oh. And growth hormones also went down. So, so, to me, it's better use the young ones that have not flowers then you chop it, that young ones, that's the one that you make into FPJ. That's the best. Clear? Rather than the old ones. I'm affected. <laughs> clear, clear. So what? Oh, these are all common sense, am I right? You just need to know. Which is not very common. Oh, which is not <laughs> Okay, now when is the best time to harvest all these FPJ plants? When is the first time? Ah, uh, best time, early in the morning. Early in the morning. Why? Why? Because early in the morning, the plants is very juicy. The microbes are very active during this time. Okay, now, but when it rains in that early morning, when it rains, do not harvest it. Because over diluted. It's over diluted. Too much water. Okay? 
So do not harvest when it rains in the morning. But when it rains in the evening and stop, go ahead, harvest in the morning. If it doesn't rain in the evening, even how many days it didn't rain, you can still harvest in the early morning because of morning dew. So no problem. So it's either before sunrise or no, before early sunrise? morning. Early morning, okay. Around six o'clock. Okay. Even seven o'clock. Oh, or also in the evening before sunset. Mm, it's better early in the morning. Oh. Even if there is sun. Even if the sun is already risen. Yes, it's still early because it uh, uh, the 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 activities inside the plants will not immediately begun when no. the sun comes out. No. It will take probably 9 o'clock when the heat is so strong, mm. then that's the time it will reduce everything. Mm. Clear? Clear? Clear. So, uh, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Two parts of the plant to one part of Molasses. Okay, again, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Two parts of the plant to one part of the molasses. Now, now, when you harvest the plants, one of the things that you should do is to just brush it over water. Just, just shake it over water. No need to completely clean them so so clean, no need. Just the uh, uh, vine, you harvest the vine, the kangkong, alabate, kamot tops, they are vine, right? Just do this in the water, that's all. Just do this in the water, that's all. You don't need to clean it one by one, etc. No. Now, what's the purpose there? Because sometimes you, your eyes cannot see the eggs of the insects that are laying on those plants. The eggs. So you just need to take out those eggs. So just do this, already the eggs will all already be done. Okay? Now, why, why do not include the eggs? Because if you include the eggs, after seven days of fermentation, you will see a lot of maggots, of worms. Now, when there is warm in your fermentation, it doesn't mean that it is spoiled. No. It's just that there are eggs of insects that are in your mixture. Then when it ferments for seven days, the eggs hatch into worms. It's not because it is spoiled. No. Just take out the worms, feed it to your chicken. It's protein for the chicken. And you can still use the liquids. Clear? Okay. Now. So, so do you, you said two to, is to one. You, you weigh the... Yes. The, you weigh it. In, yes. in terms of two weight. Two part. Yeah, in okay. terms of weight. And two then part it say, to one part. It says in the book and the, that we use crude sugar. No. Uh, you can either use crude sugar uh, or molasses. molasses. Okay. So it depends upon you. Here in the Philippines, I always... You, teach molasses because we had molasses in the Philippines, um, which I, are cheap. I think I read somewhere in the book it talks about osmotic pressure. Yes. That the, the crude sugar has osmotic pressure where molasses it doesn't. No. Yeah. Uh. No, uh, that is a wrong uh, conclusion. Because oh. molasses also releases osmotic pressure. Oh. But again, uh, crude sugar are far better in no. releasing osmotic pressure compared okay. to molasses. But it doesn't mean that molasses cannot do the functions. Mm. It can still do the functions. Mm. Now, here we are after the, the price, mm. the cost that you are going to, to be yes. doing. The difference is not very far mm. between a crude sugar mm. and a molasses. Mm. It's not a very far distance mm. difference. So, no problem mm. with molasses. Sir, what do you mean by crude sugar? 
Ah, uh, mascobado. Ah, mascobado. Kinugay. It's from sugar cane when hapon na yes. sir. Mm. You say we molasses ramana. No, uh, molasses. Uh, there are two kind. Fight. There are two kind of molasses. Oh. One is food grade molasses. Ah, food grade. One is the waste, waste. from the production uh -huh. of sugar. So mo na molasses sir. Yes, from the production, production of, of sugar. sugar. Now, the food grade... No, the food grade molasses are more expensive. Uh, expensive. Yeah, waste is cheaper. Now, this molasses, when you buy molasses, it had to be very, very... No, not dark. Very, very sticky. sticky. If it's not sticky, it means somebody add water to it already. So, hindi na pure. So, hindi na masyadong osmotic pressure. Yung sinasabi ng osmotic pressure. So, if it's diluted, then the osmotic pressure will be lesser. So, you have to buy the one that is very sticky. Almost very sticky. Clear? Okay. Now, so, two parts means two kilos of the plants to one kilo of molasses. Now, when you mix it and put it in container, again, uh, for two kilos of plants, plants are very light. So, for two kilos of plants, you are talking about many plants. Big measurement of volume of plants. So, when you fill up your container with the plants, with the with the molasses mix. Eventually, as molasses they are liquid, they will go to the uh, bottom of your container. So the top top area of your leaves, there will be no molasses, right? Right? Yes. Because when you mix it, everything is there. But when you put it in container, the liquid eventually will go to the bottom part, uh, part of the container. So on the top container of the leaves, there is no molasses. So how do you do it? How do you let the leaves go down? You put a high, heavy object on top of your container, a stone, so that it will uh, pressurize the leaves to go down. Now, the leaves to have a better result of going down, you have to chop it into smaller size. Now, do not chop it so small size. One inch, sir. One inch, two inches, that's good enough. Okay? Clear? Yeah. Okay. Now, so, put a big stones on top for around two three hours you see that the, the leaves will go down to the level of the molasses when you see the leaves in with the level of the molasses take out the stones and cover the container and leave it for seven days so you put the stone inside the container yes on the top of the leaves okay so that the leaves will go down okay, okay? So when the leaves goes down to the level of the molasses, take the stone out and cover the whole container. Cover with? Container. The, co the cover. The cover, okay. Uh, not tightly. No, everything is just because you don't want insect to go inside. All right. Clear? Then leave it in a shaded area or a housing area for seven days for seven days. Okay? Okay. After seven days, okay, room temperature lang. Okay? So, do you need to sa laon sa sir? Magkahuman, after seven days... Oh, we'll go to that. So, after seven days, separate the liquid from the sludge. Sa laon na, sa laon. The minimum is seven days. Okay, you can go even farther than seven days, no problem. But the minimum is seven days. You can separate already the liquid from the sludge. 
So that's why the container you should mark what is inside. Lahat ng container kailang gawa ka ng marka. E PJ, kailang mo ginawa, kailan ng harvest. So the, the record should be there. You should record your container. Oh, not them. Okay? Now, so separate the liquid from the sludge. Your liquid, that will be your concentrate FPJ. That will last you for six months. The spirey is six months. Again, do not produce six months requirement. Only produce three months requirement. Okay, the sludge. What do you do with the sludge? Yes, if you have animals, feed it to the animals, the sludge. If you don't have animals, what are you going to do? Compost. Everything throw back to the soil. Always, all waste should be thrown back to the soil. Okay, so how do you do it? Can you throw it back immediately to that plants over there? You cannot. You will, the plants will die. Because it's too hot, too concentrate. So you have to dilute it first with too much water until the water becomes very light. Then the water you can spray it on the plants and the sludge you can throw it in the ground as mulching. That's how you do it. Any question? Any question? So, iba sa IMO, sir, no? Dili pa man to ni mo isig bibig siya, sir, ang solid, sir, unless nga, imo nang gamiton. Pero kani, isiparate bibig siya. Kung hindi pa gagamitin, pwede man bilhin. Ipilin mo lang. Oh, pero kung uh, mas maganda, i-separate mo lang, i-storage mo lang, total 6 months mga expiration. Clear? So, after Any 6 questions? months, sir, wala na yung itong visa, wala na yung ito siya. After Hindi, six uh, after 6 months, there's still visa, but the potency is went Lower down already. Ah. So, you don't want low quality fertilizer, am I right? Like the high quality, that's why I said three months, that's good, very good quality. Okay? Any question? Okay, guys. What we're going to do right now, uh, Lloyd is there. You are going, Lloyd is going to teach you how to do the IMO 1. So that on Friday, you will harvest it and there you can do the IMO2. So you will see what you have captured on Friday. Okay, now, so Lloyd, you, if Lloyd, you can go with Lloyd right now. He's going to bring you to the uh, concoction center. We call it the concoction center. That, that is where we make all this concoction. So there's a housing there that we make all this concoction. So you go with him right now so that you will do your IMO1 practical immediately. Go. Ah.